This patient's lip was tricky. She'd been previously treated, and what I was trying to do was actually blend in some of the treatment from a previous practitioner. So she has rather dominant lateral lips. This is a practitioner, I suspect, who's just done a stock treatment on each patient. She really needs nothing laterally. And I think the lateral treatment, unless potentially it's migrated, has effectively added to a sense of sadness or negativity to her lateral oral aspect. So what I've tried to do is blend that in. You'll see me inject underneath the lip and the white of the lip, which is very unusual, but I think it made a good difference in terms of supporting the lower lip. And then most of my effort then goes to treating the middle third of the lip, because really what I want is the middle lip to dominate the lateral, just like we do with chins dominating jowls. I'm trying to create the same effect here. Wasn't straightforward, I think it made a good improvement, and there's lots to learn about the battles you will go through as a practitioner, particularly when you're treating patients who've had many treatments elsewhere. This little shadow here is part of a complex that probably allows this to be more rotated outwards, a little shadow. So if I, I may be able to actually help a little bit by just treating this little area of volume loss that might support the lateral lip. Needs a little bend in my needle to do it. I think at the very least, this decreases the boundary, the, the, what's defining the dominance of the lateral lip. It's not necessarily lifting it, but it's, it's hiding the, uh, it's making it less dominant. So visually it's doing a job, even if mechanically it's not rotating it. So I'm just noticing as I'm gearing up towards the lips, it looks a little bit fuller on the left side than the right. This is actually good because I think if I can make the right side look like the left, closer to it, this, particularly in this tubercle here, that will actually make her lips look more beautiful. So I want to try just a little bit there. Happily the same, the same benefit will occur from the side. If I can get the lower lip to project outward slightly, it'll bring harmony to the top lip, which is well projected. Lower lip angle runs down the filtrum, usually to an angle on the chin. So ideally it would be here. You can see it there. That's what I'm gonna try and create. balluses on top of each other. See the product spread slightly, which means I need to do this key shaping element. It's usually where it comes together is when you basically bring the filler up. A little bit of bleeding, I'm gonna stop that.
how important is that massage that you do? You know, when you inject a lip with filler, does it actually move around, you know, when you put it in? Yeah, uh, I think it's, you can squeeze it into the... Into the right place where you want Into the connective want tissue it, that, right. that makes it hold its shape better. So, um, at least, like, sometimes you put it in and it, it actually doesn't seem to do anything. Mm -hmm. And you squeeze it and then it holds then, its shape, right. yeah.